What up, guys? Ian MC here, and welcome to episode 13 of uh, Ian MC plays Batman: Arkham Asylum. Yep, and I hope that since this is episode 13, it's not gonna be a lucky episode. <laughs> Granted, I'm not superstitious. I just hope that it isn't an unlucky episode. For I am enjoying making this series so far. It is fun. Hey, this is weird. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. They were declined. Dr. Young put a block on her account. Sounds like she had a change of heart. She tried to block the payments. Joker doesn't like it when his partners try to back out. So he decided to get himself back to Arkham, find his formula, and create the army himself. Exactly. This area is falling apart. It's not safe to use the grapple. I need to climb up the old-fashioned way. What exactly? <laughs> oh, this is the old. Hacked into her email accounts. Two mails stand out. The first is a resignation letter dated last week. Sounds like she was trying to get away. And the second? A message from Joker. Well, Jack White. It's a long thread. Uh, she's begging to stop the experiment, says it's too dangerous. Not listening, let's see. Random threats to her family, a couple of bad jokes, a picture of a dead baby and a threat. Go on. He says, I'm coming for you, I want what I paid for. And then, another joke about wheelchairs, lovely. And a drawing of some kind of donkey. No mystery why she's so scared. I'm coming up to the surface, I'll find her. I fell off. <laughs> okay, to be honest, there's really nothing funny about me falling, but it is kind of funny. In hindsight. <laughs> and I have to start all over again. Oh great, here we go again. I should note, I'm going to post two episodes of the series per week. I mean per day, sorry, not per week. Per day. Just to see how many I... I'm going to record each one on different days, but uh... Then when I actually finally put post them... Oh, great. Joker teeth. I'm surprised this thing we're walking on isn't crumbling as we walk across it. I mean, Batman did say these things were unstable, didn't he? And I think there's anybody I can trust on science. It's a guy who is considered the world's greatest detective. I mean, don't make me resort to the uh, infamous uh, joke that the Nostalgia Critic in CR started. You guys know the one. Uh, it's from uh, the... Uh, baby doll episode of Familiar Faces where they make the joke the world's greatest detective whenever Batman just states the obvious I mean Grant because the stuff he says in the 
baby doll episode and some of the other stuff he's done. Some of the other episodes of Batman the Animated Series really, really don't really, uh, uh, give a hint of the great deductive mind that's behind that cow. <laughs> and I just realized that's Kevin Conroy that, uh, that was in the episode, so, in on that show. So, yeah, they're technically making fun of the same guy that is in, is voicing Batman in the game that I am currently doing a Let's Play of, so, yeah. <laughs> Because I think anybody who should be voicing Batman, it's Kevin Conroy. I mean, if only because, well, the man has been doing it long enough. I mean, him voicing Batman goes all the way back to the animated series, of course. Uh, as I just mentioned earlier, but... He's also, you know, reprised the role several times on Justice League, uh, a few guest spots on the Superman animated series from the, uh, from the, uh, 1990s, uh, Batman, uh, Gotham Knight, which is a movie tie-in to the, uh, Nolanverse, where, uh, rather than sounding like Kevin Conroy, you know, like, the Batman role that we got used to over the past few years. Uh, rather than that, uh... He sounds like, uh, Christian Bale's Batman. You know, is he? You know, like, uh... He's trying to sound like Christian Bale, which... Grant, which is not really cool. Yeah. I mean... This is Kevin Conroy. He shouldn't have. He was probably the best, one of the best voice actors to play Batman ever. He doesn't have to resort to co current live action Batman. Granted, uh, when he came back to do uh, Batman Superman Public Enemies, he didn't have to resort to that because he was technically not playing that version of Batman anymore. He wasn't playing the Arkhamverse Batman. He was, sorry, not not uh, the Nolan vs. Batman. He was playing Batman. Granted, I don't think it's one connected to Batman the Animated Series or this game, but it's always cool when Kevin Conroy comes back to play Batman. Granted, I can understand why they didn't have him in uh, Arkham uh, Origins because they needed someone younger because it's supposed to be a younger Batman in that game. That was awesome. And there's some barbed wire. I see that all around fences all around here. I'm not gonna say where I live. Just gonna tell, tell you that I see a lot of barbed wire on fences around here. That's all you need, I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna... I just walked into a wall there. Wait, that took me right back to where I was. Didn't it? I swear to God, that took me right back to where I was earlier. I'm wrong. Might be, I don't really know. What? That reminds me so much of the Tim Burton movies where he would just put the, you know, grappling gun up and then... It looked, always looks so cool in the Tim Burton movies. We made it. Wait, let me do the, uh... Ding dong! Joker again! Don't worry about the bat. I put a few surprises along the way. It's time to turn up and spoil the fun. Oh, and if you hear a shot in the dark, don't worry. There's very little chance of you getting hurt. It's the bat. I'm still, you might want to check your health insurance. <laughs> oh. 
Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the armory. Got ya. Let's see, what other upgrades do I got? I don't think I have any upgrades. Oh, all right. I just got knocked out. Yeah, this is a great 13th episode. I told you I was going to be kind of lucky. Mark Hamill. Best guy suited to voice the Joker. It's just sad that uh, he's retired. And I still can't find that god... Sorry, that... Uh, seesaw. Seriously, I have no idea where it is. If anybody knows where it is... Wait, let me re let me try this. Tweedledee. Weedle Dum saw it. Arkham North Riddles. Okay, and it's got pictures of them, actually, too. So, yeah. Thank you, IGN. Okay, I don't have the cryptographic sequencer yet. East corner, all right. Ding dong, Joker again. Don't worry about the bat. I put a few surprises along the way if you decide to turn up and spoil the fun. <laughs> oh, and if you hear a shot in the dark, don't worry. There's very little chance of you getting hurt. That I'm after. Still, you might want to get your health insurance. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You don't have any. Snipers. Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the armory. That was stupid.
Got him again. direction that would technically be east all oh, right that would be this way right Oh, wait, there it is. Got it. Granted, I thought weird there are two Alice in Wonderland villains in the, in the DC universe. I mean, you got Trilde and Trilde. Which is the same name. Glass, but then you got the Mad Hatter, who has always been a major part of Batman myth. Uh, Bat uh, see if I remember where I'm going. Okay, already scanned it, apparently. Okay, it's just a trophy, and we can't get it yet until we get some sort of desequencer thing, I guess. Anyway, since it's probably gonna be a while before we get any, uh... How many rules are here, actually, is my main question. Let's face it, there are two dents on this wall. Reference to the... No, I see it. No, I don't. On the bottom floor... This is an arch doorway. 
That'd be this building, wouldn't it? to leave it. Uh, see you guys for episode 14, and uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So...